Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about intimidating books. Everybody has them on their shelves. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. They are just books that for some reason you look at them and you're like, I want to read you, but I think I'm going to put it off again. And then you just keep doing it over and over and over again until something like prompts you to actually pick it up or you know, you don't. So all of these books on here are books that intimidate me and are on my unread shelves. And there's different reasons for all of these, obviously. Some of them are just like outside my comfort zone and I picked it up on a whim because I have FOMO when it comes to certain books or like some that I just have super, super high expectations for, etc. So there's tons of different reasons, but we're gonna be talking about them, kind of why I haven't picked them up yet. And that's about it. I'm not really gonna go into too much depth because these are books that pretty much everyone has heard about. So I feel like you don't need to hear the synopsis for the millionth time. So the first book on this list is going to be Foul Lady Fortune. And the reason that this is one of my most intimidating books is because I absolutely loved these violent delights and these violent ends. And I am so terrified to go into these books because I have such high expectations and I am incredibly concerned that I am not going to enjoy these just because I don't know, just when you have your expectations set so high, sometimes it just doesn't go well. The next book is technically a series, but mostly I'm scared of the first book because I haven't started it yet. And it is Strange the Dreamer. I am terrified of Strange the Dreamer because I have three copies of this book. I have three copies. One is like the traditional copy. It is the paperback, rather inexpensive. Then I bought these. Yeah, and actually before I bought this, I bought the Lit Joy versions because they're stunning. I was able to keep myself from buying the Daughter of Smoke and Bone ones, thank God, because yeah, those are really expensive, which kept me from buying them, but I have three copies of this. I am so scared to read this book because if I don't like it, I have to get rid of all my copies. <laughs> and I'm just like, I don't know if I'm ready for that. So this is definitely one of the most intimidating books on my TBR because I am absolutely terrified of hating this book and having to get rid of all my beautiful copies and realizing that I wasted a ton of money on that. So, ooh, I'm so stressed about this one. <laughs> the next one is one of my more intimidating reads because it is slightly outside my comfort zone, although I'm slowly worming my way into that as a comfort zone, but it is a big sci-fi book and I really want to love these because it sounds really shallow, but these will look so pretty on my shelves. <laughs> but they are the Leviathan Wake books. So, I mean, I would love to have the whole series. They're so pretty. They're also just really long and I know they're really involved. And I know the show The Expanse is after this because I really, really want to read The Expanse, but I want to read the books first. So I just haven't picked it up. I've had this for a while and I haven't picked it up because I'm so scared I'm not going to like it. And it is outside my comfort zone. Although, like I said, I've been reading more sci-fi lately. So I think I think this may be the year. I think this is the year I'm going to read this. And it's just so pretty. It's so pretty. I love these books. And they feel so nice. Like these types of chunky floppy books. I absolutely love them. So I'm hoping I get over my intimidation and actually start this one this year. Okay, the next one is like a super obvious one. It is way outside my comfort zone. I fell into the FOMO issue. This is on my wheel of no appeal. And I'm so nervous to read this, but at the same time, I'm like dying to read it, but also I don't want to read it. There's, there's so many mixed emotions that come with this book, but it is lessons in chemistry. And I literally just watched someone's like vlog of reading this and she was sobbing, sobbing <laughs> about this book, but also rated it like a five star. So I'm like, I don't know what to do. The next one is exactly the same reason. It is also on my wheel of no appeal. Although if I don't spin it for March, I'm taking it off because I will be reading it in March no matter what because it's going to be a book pick for Katie Colson's book club. So it is tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. This book terrifies me. <laughs> and I solely bought this because it is beautiful and it was a buy one get one 50% off, which was really cool. And it's just, oh man, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. And it got me because it says it talks about like video games and I love video games. So I don't know. I just, again, people cry a lot when they read this one. It will make you cry. It's going to make me cry. And I hate reading books that make me cry. So I'm just, this again, I'm going to read it in March though, no matter what. So still intimidates me and I'm going to be intimidated probably while I'm reading it. The next one intimidates me because of the author as well as the size of this book. 
this author is notorious for not giving a care in the world uh, if you feel depressed about his books. They will rip you to shreds. They will absolutely destroy you. And he's like, let's go. And it is Empire of the Vampire. It's, I mean, it's huge. It's, it's, it's huge. <laughs> it is absolutely frightening. I am so scared to read this. I don't even know if I have this. I do. I have this on the wheel of no appeal. This is a tough one because it's no appeal because I'm so scared to read it and it's going to take me forever and I know I'm going to be like upset while I'm reading it because it's it's Jay Kristoff. So I just yeah this one absolutely frightens me so yeah yeah I don't know what I'm getting to this one. Another one that I should have put on the wheel of no appeal and was definitely a cover by uh, is The Priory of the Orange Tree. I feel like no one should be surprised that this is on here. It is absolutely a hunker of a book. I tend to put, I, I tend to be most intimidated by large books because my attention span is like the size of a rock. So a book like this, me getting through a book like this, is going to be somewhat of a miracle. But this is going to be going on my wheel of no appeal if I spin a red spot. Actually, it will be replacing tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow whenever I take that off this is going to replace it I also like love holding it at the same time but uh and I'm also really worried I'm gonna break the spine when I read it that's another concern so but it's so pretty this book I honestly forgot that I had and I feel like that's not good but it also intimidates me I'm pretty sure where I put it on my shelves it's just so I wouldn't see it because like I spotted it and I was like I forgot I bought that but I've heard I'm intimidated by it because I've heard very mixed reviews. Like some people have been like enjoying this and other people were like, this is not for me. And I didn't know this was going to be a series. So that makes it kind of even worse. And this will also be going on my wheel of no appeal. Actually, this is probably gonna take one of the yellow spots. Oh man, I don't know. This might be a red spot one. Ordinary Monsters. I don't know how I feel about this one. I am concerned this would be a DNF because it does, it is borderlining on out of, comfort zone because it has to do with certain things that I'm just kind of eh about so I don't know this one really frightens me though especially after hearing people talk about it the next one is no surprise I'm a little less intimidated by this one after hearing so many people talk about it it doesn't sound as bad but it's still really long and the subject material I'm still a little intimidated by because I feel like I feel like a lot of people were scared of this one because it just seems so smart and it probably still is and it's very emotional and deals with a lot of difficult things so it's just super intimidating to read it and it's obviously babel I think this is also on my wheel of no appeal and if it's not yeah it is it's not my wheel of no appeal it's <sighs> I'm terrified to read this, but I also am dying to read it because everyone, except for like two people, have adored this book. So I feel like I just need to rip the band-aid off and read it, but at the same time, I know I'm not going to, so that's why it's on the wheel of no appeal. Okay, the next one is pretty much purely length. It is purely length, and that is the only reason it's intimidating, and it is thread needle. I actually like can't wait to read this, but I just keep not picking it up, and every time I look at it, I'm like, Mm, it's really long. I don't want to read it. And then I read something else. So yeah, I mean, it's intimidating, not probably as intimidating as the other books on this list are, but still intimidated by it. And the final book that is intimidating to me and pretty much the only reason I haven't picked it up again is because it is really long and it's weirdly heavy. I don't know why this book is so heavy, but it is the Jasmine Throne. I actually recently have been hearing some good things about it because I haven't that's the other reason I was intimidated by it I haven't heard anyone talk about it so I was like do do I actually want to read this like am I interested in this but then some people started coming out and saying oh this is actually pretty good and yeah that kind of helped a little bit but I still am just not picking it up because of how long it is I don't know what it is and it's um close to high fantasy I don't, I don't remember if it's high fantasy or not but in my head it's some sort of high fantasy and high fantasy terrifies me anything that is not easily accessible fantasy terrifies me <laughs> so that's why I haven't picked this one up yet but these are the most intimidating books on my shelves and the intimidation is basically what is keeping me from reading them because I feel like I'm going to enjoy most of them I'm just Oh, I'm so scared of them. I'm so scared of them. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let me know down below in the comments what your most intimidating books are. If you've read any of these and you think I'm going to love them and make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe for more videos. And that's all I got. Nice, short, sweet, 
small video. That's nice for once. I didn't talk for a million years. <laughs> so anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video.